Hello, faith-filled ones. Faith is the law of the kingdom of God. And as citizens of the kingdom, the word of God is our constitution and the source of our faith. Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We are the just and we live by faith. This is mentioned four times in the scripture. Once in the Old Testament in Habakkuk 2, 4, and three times in the New Testament in Romans 1, 17, in Galatians 3, 11, and Hebrews 10, 38. Look them up. It's so important that we cast down fear-based thoughts by speaking faith-filled words. When we give God's word first place in our lives, he'll speak to us, giving us specific instructions. Then, breakthrough will come when we receive a quote, rhema word from God. In Greek, the word rhema means an utterance. Therefore, the rhema word in biblical terms refers to a portion of scripture that quote, speaks to a believer. When we're diligent about giving God's word attention, he'll give us a rhema word. We cannot enter into the kingdom of God if we do not believe his word and that his kingdom exists. Every kingdom has a constitution of basic law. The word of God is the constitution of God's kingdom. The word tells us in Psalm 19, 7 through 8, that God's word is perfect. See, without faith, it's impossible to please God. According to Hebrews 11:6, we must believe that he rewards those who diligently seek him. In Romans 3:27, we read that faith is the law of the kingdom. It's important that we don't doubt so that our blessings are not blocked out. Romans 14:23 says that whatever is not of faith is sin. Remember, the just shall live by faith. Well, that's it for today. God bless you guys. I pray that you were encouraged. And if you were and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. Or you can send your tax deductible donation by texting, by texting the number 888 888- 508-4830 and on the text line text give well that's it for today I encourage you to walk in the law of faith bye for now